Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Gracia and I am a part-time reseller on the Poshmark app. I also work part-time at an elementary school. And today's haul is going to be a Goodwill Bins haul. Um, I haven't been to the bins in probably two months. Um, I did stay for both sessions. So I've already done a video for the first session where I paid around a dollar It's per piece. Um, and then the second portion is where you pay by the, not by the pound, but it's like 35 pounds for $16. It used to be $14, but it went up to 16. So that is what I'm going to be showing you today. I got 35 pounds for $16. Um, so yeah, I will leave a link down below of how the bins works in San Diego. Um, so let's just get right into it, shall we? Okay. The problem with going to the bins in the second session, though, is that they my bins don't rotate out clothes. So what's that, whatever's left over from the first session, they put back into the bins, open the doors, and it, you sometimes you can still find some good things, but sometimes you can't. And I just want to be able to hit that the weight so that way it's worth it for me. So I just kind of start throwing stuff in my cart, which could be a problem. Um, and I don't really look for flaws because at that point I just want to go home. I don't want to hit traffic. I know, not very good business. But anyways, so the first thing that I am going to show you is this bathing suit. It is um, Suddenly Slim by Catalina. It is a 3X. Um, it's clean, but it's got some the ruching on it and a tie neck. So, yeah. Uh, this is... Trevelli. A lot of this stuff I don't know what it is. I'm going to have to probably look it up, but there's the tag. I don't know what size it is, um, but this is very lightweight. It's very cute. It's got roses on it, and then this little ruffle on the bottom. Let's see if I can, if there's a materials tag. There is not, but that's okay. Um, this is Abercrombie and Fitch size 10, um, distressed with what looks to be factory stitching to make it look like it's been fixed or whatever, that it's there and there. This is a pair of John Galt jeans, um, size medium. I don't know. I know what John Galt is, but... They're a button fly, they're a dark wash, they have raw hem, and I believe they are high rise. So yeah, this is a pair of express jeans, um, size eight. They look to be like an ankle jean, skinny. This is just a Hollister open knit lightweight sweater, size medium. <clears throat> this is a BB. I just sold a BB top, uh, size extra small. It's got like the ruffle cap slit uh, sleeves. Come here. Looks like it ties around like the front part of the neck. This is a hot mess. Uh, this is another BB, it's a size medium. This is an actual real wrap dress, um, just black. It's not gonna be very fun to photograph. Um, I'm hoping to get lucky with these and not have any flaws. Like in the morning I check over everything and then in the afternoon I don't, I just kind of take it. Uh, this is a pair of blue and gray, size medium, really pretty color. Um, I really kind of want to keep these. Uh, they, are, I think, are like a linen or a linen blend. 100% linen. Drawstring, elastic waist. This is a Pink Floyd by Pink Floyd, size medium hoodie. Uh, 
This is a dress barn size four. Just kind of reminded me like a beachy type wedding um, style dress. It's got like the eyelet, or it's not even an eyelet, but it's like embroidered. So yeah, if you're getting married on the beach and you want something simple, there you go. This is by Trixie, it's a size medium. Um, I just got this because it's got cherries on it and I thought it was a really fun print. Uh, yeah. This is a Maeve top, it's a size extra small. It's a button down, long sleeve, lightweight. This is J. Crew size two, metallic gold shirt. This feels like oh silk. It's H and M size six, so it's probably not silk, but it's like got this crinkly bottom, ruffle top. Let's just see. It's polyester, whatever. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, it's like this army olive green color. It's cute, very lightweight and flowy. This is an Ann Taylor Petite, um, small petite. What is this called, houndstooth? Uh, sort of like form-fitting dress with a zipper in the back. This is another dress by Trixie, it's a size five. But it's this royal blue on the top with this ruffle and then black on the bottom. This one is missing the belt, but it, you know, you could just put a black belt on it and be good to go. I was kind of excited to find this one because I've always wanted to find one of these Sheldon shirts. Um, but it is by DC Comics Originals. It is, that one I just might have to keep it. This is another pair of Levi's Relaxed Fits um, 550s. It's a size 36.29. Good condition. This is both top and bottom monkey monkey um, pajamas. They are size small with like donuts and coffee and all that stuff. They button, which is kind of weird. Oh, maybe to keep them rolled. I don't know. But that's the bottoms. And the top is a size small. Maybe my kid. So, well, no, I'm doing the second part. Why? Right, what's up? You're filming stuff? Yeah. <laughs> this is a pair of Wrangler um, size. I don't know what size they are. I think these ones might be vintage. The tag is completely washed away. Um, I don't know why I picked them up if the tag is washed away, but I did. They have some distressing here on the back pocket probably not intentional um oh and there's a little tiny hole right there so oh and there's a even bigger hole in the pocket so you win some you lose some but one so far isn't bad okay this is a ann taylor loft size 10 uh dress it's black with like white at the bottom and a zipper in the back. I think I picked these up maybe for my kid. I don't remember. Um, I'll look them up and see, but it is Pi Yoga Pants. Um, right there. They are handmade, it says, um, elastic waist, 
elastic around the ankles. There's the pie sign on the pocket. So yeah, those are fun. This is a Banana Republic soft wash shirt, um, 15, 15 and a half, size medium, long sleeve, plaid. I guess, I don't know what that's called, but it's like orange and blue. So, I am hoping there is no stains on this because this is a joie, size large. Uh, it's got orange and then it's like a sheer it kind of is coming apart a little bit right there but it's not bad no stains that I can see so I don't know why I picked this up <laughs> it's love tree size small um, it is polyester, so it is just like this black vest. Yep. I don't know why I grabbed these either. Um, this seems to be maybe an older pair, an older style, uh, I did have another pair of Tiki's um, pants in my closet. It took a while to sell them, but this is a um, pair of Tiki, size medium. Uh, they are a leopard print. And they have like a triangle pattern, and then they are super wide bell bottoms. So yeah, we're gonna give those bad boys a try. Where are all my Fisher people at? This is a Boca Classics original size large. Um, but I picked it up because it's got all these fishing lures on it. It's a button down. Thought this was fun. So I grabbed it. This is Go International. Um, it's like this button down long sleeve. It's got little ruffles there and then this is another one that I think ties around the neck um, and you button it down and then when it's buttoned you tie it around the neck that is cute just like everything else is cute Calvin Klein size 11 brown corduroy pants a wide leg, I don't know, a boot cut, wide leg. This is Ann Taylor Loft Petite. It's a 12 petite. Uh, is this a true wrap? No, it's not a true wrap, but it is a faux wrap. And then it does have the little tie. This is fun also. So this is by Ugly Shirt. Um, it is a size medium, but it's got these skulls all over it. Um, and then it's got like these pearly buttons. But yeah, I was like, hell yeah, I'll sell that. Thank you very much, Goodwill. Oh my God, her, oh, never mind. This is a Brandy Melville one size, right there. <laughs> Little floral dress um, with this little ruffle on the bottom. I believe it's a dress. It could be a top, I guess. Depends on who you are. But very oversized and very flowy. So there were a couple of these. The other two were windbreakers, um, but the tag just had like the the L or an XL for large or extra large. And so um, 
I didn't get it because I just, I didn't think that they were, I don't know. But I got this one because this one has this on it. Um, it is made in the USA. It is the um, USA Olympic Committee. Um, and it just has the USA right there. It is a full zip USA on the that. Um, I don't see anything wrong with it. So I got that one. This is an Evan M. Picone's dress, size 14. I'll have to look this up. Uh, there's a nice, lovely food stain right there. It's in the white, hopefully it washes out. But it's got these little cap sleeves. And yeah, I'm not really seeing anything else wrong with it. So I'll wash it and list it. This is an express size large. Um, there's a little spot right there. We'll have to just soak this. Um, Cause I think that this part is silk or <laughs> polyester. We'll find out. It is silk. Okay, so it is silk. 100% silk, but yeah, so there, that's an express size large. This is a pair of Ann Taylor Loft size six. These are called the Mar Marissa, but they're like the seafoam color, um, light greeny blue, and they are rolled. I don't know if they are supposed to be, no. Um, so like an ankle, see what we got here I did find for the first time ever and I'll insert a picture um, here I found uh, Johnny was but there was holes in it so that got left behind this reminded me of it because it looked very similar to this um, but this is just a lavish size extra large sheer flowy top this is es escapades um i'm sure there was bottoms to this but you could probably i don't know if it's pajamas or what but i think you could probably pull it off wearing it as like a a top um i would say it's either a medium or a large, or a size small, which is what the tag says, but it might be vintage too, but it does look kind of big. Like I think I would fit into this. Uh, this is a pair of Simply Vera Wang, size two. I don't, Typically pick up a lot of Vera Wang. I did, I did leave quite a bit behind, but I just thought these looked really comfortable and cozy, um, sort of elastic-y waist. Uh, and then, yeah, you can roll them or unroll them. Um, I don't know if that would be considered moto, but whatever. This is a Lauren Conrad piece, but I just thought it was really cute with the the bell sleeves, it is a size small, but I just thought it was, the sleeves were, were cute. So, and it's like this pastel pink color. Almost done. This is a J. Crew, um, button down long sleeve, sort of flannelly type material. This is a pair of two super low boot cut 524s, size 9M, meet a Levi's. I grabbed these because the last time I put up just a pair of Levi's like this, they sold within hours. And last is this jacket. It is weatherproof, size large. Um... soft. I don't know what the material is on it. 
Oh look, it's even got like a, oh, you can put your cell phone in this pocket thing. Um, where is it? So yeah, it's polyester, but there's no stains or anything on it. I know it's kind of we're coming out of the season, but that's okay. So that is my haul for the second part for all of that right there. I paid $14 with both things total. I had 83 pieces. I'm sorry. Yeah, 83 pieces. So breaking it all down, it comes down to about 80 cents a piece, which is fine by me. Um, yeah, so I got nothing. Uh, if you like this, <laughs> bless you. If you like this content, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the thumb, bless you, the thumbs up. Um, leave me a comment. Um, <coughs> there's the child. <coughs> Ew, she's got the sickness. No, she doesn't. Um, coronavirus. Anyways, got coronavirus. Oh my God. So yeah, anyways, I will link everything down below that you need um, if you need it. I feel like there's something that I'm just not telling you, but whatever, that's okay. All right, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.